<laughs> Hi, Dad. Hey, Christy. I'm back from babysitting the girl across the street. How was it? The usual. We played games. She had her daily tantrum because she didn't want to go to bed. And I sang her to sleep. She went to sleep and everything's okay. <laughs> Sounds like a productive day. Productive, but not unpredictable. But well, here's something that'll make your day unpredictable. I got you this bracelet. It's beautiful. But why? It's not my birthday or anything. I know, but I was uh, I was upstairs cleaning out the attic, and um, I found this bracelet. It was your mother's, and um, she's. And then I remember seeing a letter that was with the bracelet saying, "Give to your oldest daughter." And um, you're the older daughter, so I figured I should give it to you. Thanks, Dad. It's beautiful. Can I go show Krista? Of course you can. Just don't lose it. It's very valuable. Oh, I will. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Come in. Hey, Krista. Hey, Christy. You look really happy. What's going on? I am happy. Look. Oh, that's such a pretty bracelet. Where'd you get it? Dad gave it to me. Dad went and bought you a bracelet? He hates shopping. No. It used to belong to Mom. Well, then why do you have it? Well, Dad said he was cleaning out the attic, and he found the bracelet. And then beside the bracelet was a note saying that the oldest daughter gets the bracelet. So I guess it's me. And so he gave it to me. It's really beautiful. I really love it. Yeah, I like it too. Now I have a piece of mom with me everywhere I go. Yeah, I wish I had something that valuable that belonged to mom. I'm sure you will someday. Do you think I could borrow the bracelet and wear it like sometime? I'm sorry, but I can't loan you the bracelet. It's too special and important to me. Come on, you could trust me. Have I ever broken anything that I borrowed from you? No, you haven't, but I just, I'm sorry, but this bracelet is way too valuable, and if something happened to it, I would be very upset. Nothing's going to happen to it, I promise. I'm sorry, Krista, but this discussion is over. I'm not loaning you the bracelet. Why do you have to be so selfish? I'm not being selfish. I'm being cautious. I, you can't borrow the bracelet. I'm sorry, but I can't loan it to you. Now I'm going to go and help Dad with dinner. She's being so selfish. She's being such a spoiled brat. Why did she have to get the stupid bracelet anyway? I should get the bracelet. She doesn't even wear jewelry. She's showing, dangling it in front of my face practically. Ugh, I'm so mad. Hey, sis. How you, how's it going? It's going good, I guess. I was wondering, um, have you given any second thoughts of letting me borrow the bracelet? Don't even finish saying what you're going to say. I haven't changed my mind. I'm not loaning you the bracelet. Why do you have to be so selfish? I'm not being selfish, Krista. I told you, I'm being cautious. This bracelet means too much for me. It's not like you're going to wear it every day. I would take better care of it than you would. How can you say that? Well, have you seen your bedroom? Your bedroom's always a mess. At least I keep my room clean. What does that have to do with anything? It has to, it has a lot to do with the bracelet. You, um, why would Dad trust you with something this valuable if you can't even keep your room clean, but not trust me with something valuable when I always clean my room? That's not the point. Mom wanted me to have it. Well, she's dead, so it's not like she's going to know. Yes, she will. Don't talk like that. You go to church every Sunday. You should know that mom's watching over us. You know, if she really was, then I would ask her, why didn't she give me the bracelet? Someday, you'll get something valuable from her too. But right now, it's my turn to get something valuable.
Now I'm going to go and um, order pizza. Dad just left for work, so he left his money to order pizza. I'm not hungry. Fine. Then I'll go order it for myself, and I'll order you some in case you change your mind. I won't. Christmas one back to over. Where's my bracelet? Uh, my bracelet. Where did it go? Chrissa. <sighs> so pretty. Chrissa? hide it. I'm in here. Chrissa. Chrissa, have you seen my bracelet? What bracelet? Don't play stupid. You know what I'm talking about. The one Dad gave me. What is it? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You were just in the kitchen with me. It was on the kitchen table. You didn't take it, did you? No, I didn't. I left the room. Why would I want to take your bracelet? Okay, less than two minutes ago, you were mad because you didn't have it. And now you're acting like you don't even care. Maybe you misplaced it. I couldn't have. I put it on the table. Then I went to order pizza for dinner. And then when I came back, it was gone. And you were the last one to see my bracelet. So what are you calling me, a thief? I'm not calling you a thief. I'm just asking you where it is. I don't know where your stupid bracelet is. Krista, I don't think I believe you. And if you did take the bracelet, I won't be mad as long as you give it back. I don't have your bracelet, okay? Well, it couldn't have just gotten up and walked away. Come on, Krista. This bracelet's really important to me. You really got to tell me where it is. I told you, I don't know where your bracelet is. I know you have it, and I'm not leaving you alone until you do, until you give it to me. What are you doing, accusing me? Just give me my bracelet back. I know you have it. Ugh, fine. Take the stupid bracelet. Ow! You didn't have to throw it at me and you stole it and you lied to me about it? Well, it didn't work out, did it? Because you didn't believe me anyway. And I never will believe anything you say. What did you do with my bracelet? I threw it at you. I know you threw it at me. I will never forgive you for this. I can't believe you took it. I gave it back to you, didn't I? I'm really mad at you. I can't believe Chrissy's still mad at me. Maybe I'll take a nap and just sleep on and then I'll figure out what to do. Did you or did you not steal my client's bracelet? Dad? Where am I? What are you doing here? I'm not your dad, I'm your lawyer. You stole the bracelet. But I gave it back. Doesn't matter. You stole it. How do you plead? Guilty. I did steal it, but you should have given it to me. That's no excuse. I sentenced you to life in jail. For stealing a bracelet and then giving it back? That's not fair. Life isn't fair. People take her away. No! I didn't mean to steal it! I'm sorry! I'll do anything! Anything! No! No! I'll do anything! Please! No! No! It's just a dream. Wow. Chris was right. I shouldn't have stolen that bracelet, and even though I gave it back, it doesn't change the fact that I tried to steal it from her. I better go apologize to her. I hope she forgives me. Hey, Christy. Hi, Krista. 
What do you want? He still be here soon, so I might as well stay in here. Actually, I came in to talk to you. About what? How unfair I am for having a bracelet? No, I came in here to apologize. Will you get your eyes off that computer? I think your face is turning green. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's talk. Have a seat. Thank you. So what do you have to tell me? I'm really sorry for my attitude about the bracelet, and I'm sorry I took it from you. I know I was wrong, and I really am sorry. It's just that I felt hurt that you got something from Mom and I didn't. And then when you said that you couldn't trust me with it, it hurt my feelings. It made me feel like you didn't trust me, like at all. I felt like you were underestimating me. I didn't mean to make you feel that way, Krista. But you have to understand that this bracelet was really special to me. But I guess I should have trusted you with it. You've always been really responsible. Yes, I have. But stealing it from you wasn't right, and I'm sorry about that. It's okay, at least you didn't lose it or ruin it or anything. Yeah, but I did throw it at you, and I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. I could understand, um, I could, I can understand why you did it, but I guess I was being kind of selfish. No, you weren't. If mom meant you to have it, then she meant you to have it, and I have to learn to accept it. True, but I'll let you borrow it sometime. But right now, this place is really special to me. I know it is. And I promise I'll try to respect that. Thank you, Krista. And it was nice of you to come and apologize. Yeah, well, sometimes I have to do the right thing. Yeah. Ding dong. Oh, the pizza's here. Do you still want some? Yeah. Okay, I'll go get it and pay the man and be right back. Okay. Yeah, I think things are going to be okay now.